Hello everybody, today I'm going to be building in modded Minecraft. You can tell it's modded because my hand's not there. I might change that, I don't like that a lot. Anyway, uh, <laughs> well, I'm walking around this forest right now, and we've got a pretty cool atmosphere, and it's created some really neat, like, ideas. We've got, like, some really cool atmosphere, really nice, like, ring in the background, and on top of all those nice things, we've got an absolute ton of blocks that we can work with. Wow, that's a lot. And I don't know where I'm going to go with this, because there is a lot when I say a lot. But I can build anything. I have no limitations. I don't have to think about what I'm going to use for textures anymore, because I can use literally anything for textures. And that's pretty cool. So before I do anything else, I'm going to make some tweaks to the mod pack, if I can figure out how, and don't destroy it. And then I'm going to start building something really awesome, hopefully. Start off when you're building anything, you have to start off with the textures, or at least I start off with the textures. And there are so many blocks in this mod, so many thousands and thousands and thousands of blocks, I didn't really know where to start, so I just started on a brick texture, see what that would look like. And this is one of the most complicated textures I've ever made, with so many layers, but it was actually really fun designing. And... I, by the way, I didn't make this mod pack myself. It's called Builder's Dreamland, and it's on ModRinth. So definitely check it out. And this is probably one of the only mod packs I've ever played where I think, yeah, this would be really fun to do a survival series on. So if you would ever be interested in that, pop a little uh, thing in the uh, comments below, because that'd be awesome. I actually do love do doing this mod so far. So I do have this so far. I just have to figure out what I want to do next, because there are a lot of things I can do in it. And one thing I just didn't even realise was the that was in this mod at least was how many different types of stained glass there were. Like not just just ignoring the basic glasses that you have in it. These coloured ones look so nice, especially these orange ones. I was look I found out when I searched up orange to get these colours. <laughs> I was just like, how is this in here? Anyway, I'm gonna continue making the rest of the textures and go into a little bit of a time lapse while I make the rest of the base. <laughs> when I started this little challenge here i realized one thing and it was the lack of challenge but in a good way actually it was really fun to design this whole base because there were so many details i could add in and so much choice which became a problem problem in and of itself really because i had so much choice i had to figure out what looked best but i had so much fun designing this base and i could really just let my creativity fly it's a bit like when you're drawing you don't have any setbacks or things that hold you down and in the end i think the base looked amazing for it with the blue and the bricks i love doing this this is one of the funnest bases i've ever had to design because it was like the complete opposite of the last video where it was really restricting and although it was restricted it created something really cool but with this video I've made here, it's very, it's very different. I can do whatever I want, really. I have no limits. I can build out of whatever I want. I can find whatever I want and it's probably going to be there. So I was able to create one of the most awesome bases that I've ever designed because I just didn't have any limits. And I think I've just learned a lot from, about regular building from making this base too. Like how to use um, designs and small elements that I didn't, wasn't using before. Like I never would have thought to use this but I was just so into the bit of making so many different uh, new elements that I'd never done before. I just got used to it. With the, honestly, probably the part of the base I'm most proud about is these windows here. They're just so cool, these like half open shutters and things. I use like half slabs, uh, wall slabs, sorry, to make them. L let me just mention something. I didn't know there, there were wall slabs in this mod. So when I first went to place down my slabs like this, and they were like placed like this, I was very confused, to put it lightly. But I learned to use them eventually, and even though they are a little annoying to place, they, they worked out fairly well. Let's start in the interior. Let me just spin around really Oh, oh, it's... who did that? Well, anyway, I've got all... it's all done here now, I guess, by a goblin or something. And yeah, this layout looks good. I probably could have done it better myself, but wh whatever. And <laughs> yeah, this this does look good. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try and build all the walls in now. Um, one moment. I just need to think about how this happened. What does it look like from here? Is it... What? Why are there walls? Why are there walls? I don't... No! No! I I like doing this part. I like the texturing and the detailing. Don't tell me a goblin's done everything. I want to actually run through some stuff. Okay. He's he's not 
that good of a detailer, obviously. I might have turned around a little too quickly that time. Did give enough time for, to finish some of the rooms, which is good. I think he's making me stutter too. And he hasn't even finished this wall. What a moron. I, I, I would have done that in that amount of time too. But anyway, he seems that he's he's ignored a couple rooms. So, and he's not done a lot of texturing, the idiot. So I can go through and I can show you some of the... Okay, good, he hasn't done it behind my back. This is just a really well-textured room. I mean, it sucks. It, it, this room's awesome. I'm. That is so cool. Well well done, Goblin, and not me. Well done, Goblin. I'm not that fast, honestly. Anyway, oh, and he didn't even have time to finish this room. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and run through the uh, details with you now. Probably not all of them, just a couple. So we've got one room in the first floor already decorated, and we've got some... Oh, this is a pretty empty room, but it's also a room, so I think I'm going to start with that. First, we're going to be looking at this wall, and I'm thinking, like, we have some spruce fences here. And I forgot I used spruce shelves at the bottom, so that's why I'm flicking randomly. I think that creates a pretty cool, like, in-work, place-isn't-fully-built-yet idea. And if I get some trap doors, if we look at these spruce trap doors, I just want to talk about this. You get them in every single style, and then you've got even more on top of that. So I can do some, like, woven ones and some ones like that, and even some empty ones. It makes it look like the wall is being built, like it isn't uh, fully done yet, which is a really cool effect, and I really like it. So yeah, with it, so you got like a wall that's being built here, a little built out, which looks really nice. And it's raining outside, but I kind of like the atmosphere, so I'm gonna keep that on. And with this window here, thing is, we can't really do a whole lot because if we have like a window sill, we're gonna be like pushed up against the wall here. If we wanna use it, so maybe we can get some stairs in. I'm thinking, get some what are they called slate. Get some polished slate stairs. And place some of those in like that and then we can have like yeah there, there we go the window has a little more depth now and looking at this window here i'm wondering if there are any trap doors we can use that would make it look nicer Not doors with an s and what ones could we put here maybe some maybe some warped because those are nice and blue or maybe just some like hmm, what looks nice but I think these would look nicer because it fits with the whole, you know, it, it matches the ceiling. Yeah, I think I think that looks pretty good actually, having those uh, having those there. So this room is, well, let's be honest, it's far from done. So we can add a, but we can add some details in. We can add some buttons. The floor definitely needs to be textured. We'll use clay. So I'll see what other clay variants there are. I'll use some of these, and I think I'll use regular clay too. So I'll add, I won't add too many differences, differences, sorry, because it is a, I want to go, I do want to go for that checkered pattern. Having that makes it look a little better. Yeah, that looks cool because that looks like it's like broken, but it keeps the colours in. It, one, one good thing about this mod pack though is that it keeps everything like, it adds little details like how it looks trodden on or other colours in a way. I don't know what I'm talking about, but like, you have lots of different variants of one block. So I can search up spruce and get like a million different variants. And I don't have to worry about not having the right one. Because it's going to be here if I search long enough. Because everything's in this mod. Which is just, you know, it's so useful. And now we're moving on to this room here. And I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this room. First thing I'm going to do is bring this carpet out a little bit. Because, you know, carpet's always going to be the first thing you know that, that stops also the first thing that starts so you have it moving out like that so yeah carpeted room and what one should i do this yeah that looks really nice actually and maybe we can have like a, a furnace are there any detailed no there aren't really any detailed furnaces we can add like a furnace in the corner with white on top to help it fit in which looks really nice oh actually we can have a is it cooker there's a smoker there we go. Yeah, we use a smoker here instead because it's like a kitchen type of area. That is an oven. I want to use that instead. Ooh, cook pipe. We can get like, we can get a spruce version of this. Yeah, and that adds onto that, and it it's like a little frying pan area. Yeah, this is really coming together, guys. I really like this. So this area here does. I don't know how to explain it, but if you've ever gone into an English house, you go into the room where there's a tumble dryer, and it looks a bit like this. It, it's not very nice. 
well actually you go into an english house and it's not very nice this is just like probably like the average english kitchen this here is the average kitchen it, not kitchen sorry this is the average lounge in an english household and um well this is the average bedroom thanks for watching okay so i'm gonna see if i can sort this room out now which is gonna be awesome oh no Oh, no. he's stuck again well i just had a quick look through the whole base and the goblin's done and done it he has finished the entire base and it definitely wasn't me putting in all the hard work um it, but yeah the base did turn out so cool in the end like coming out of character for a moment like everything's so neat and all these like special rooms and i just gotta say i love making this room even though i've showed off already i was in character at the time but this is just i loved using these benches and figuring that out and like rooms like this where it's all enclosed together and you can always hear the little birds in the background it's so amazing and i use one of these beds i don't know if it's so amazing i probably would change it out if i were to do it again but i'm gonna keep it now what's the point of changing so later on but yeah that, that looks really nice we've got little storage rooms all throughout the base and then we move up this house actually has three different layers all different with it like a different vibe this was very like bricked so there's a lot of brick everywhere there's a lot of you know area and there's also like an empty room that every it feels like it's going up in development as you're going along so this area room here is a lot more of a dirty brick with like you know dirt on the walls things like that and you've got a small room here and then the final room, just the final one, this one's like really not a lot going on, is this upper area here. Which is just more of like a whatever you want to do with it sort of area. But the house is officially done. I'm not really feeling like doing that, so I'll just break out this window here. There we go. Very nice. And one thing I, I, I love about this space is I, I don't really get this a lot but when i look in through the windows i think wow this looks so cool just from the outside being able to look inside and seeing all the details as they're just like that i've made especially just on here i love this sort of like you can see the staircase in the two rooms it's a cool sideways perspective but yeah the whole base is done and it's so cool and now i have to edit this video so fun but yeah this is this was this was genuinely such an awesome awesome video to make and if you want to see a map download just put it in the description in the not description the comments put it in the comments that'll be and i'll uh, and i'll see about doing that because i don't know if it's any different with modded or what i need to do with modded i don't know but still absolutely lovely base and if you want to see any more videos on modded minecraft go ahead and put a comment in this not not the description again in the comments but a comment in the comments. Sorry, I'm tired. Alright, bye-bye. <laughs>